all right guys welcome back to the channel once again in this video we're going to talk about the grape chairs i have already uploaded many videos on my youtube channel previously so we have wrote the configuration for component manager editor configuration style manager asset managers written the custom events custom plugins custom component libraries so all the things we have done in previously and everything is already on my youtube channel so but the thing is that now the grape chairs has removed the previous version and they have modified it into the grape chairs studio so in the grape chairs studio the thing is is that like they have removed all the documentation which we were doing earlier they have just put the configuration editor like the editor object and then you can pass the details into that one and they have also written everything like how you have to pass and it's going to be loaded over there so you have to write extra code from your side so you're not going to get any custom plugins there are some plugins like the text editor or some kind of different different plugins so you can use those as well but if you have to do extra kind of modifications so you have to write your own code and now the thing is that like you don't have the detailed document so how you're gonna write it or how you're gonna customize the thing so we're gonna be continuing this series and we're gonna be writing all those things into this series so I'm gonna be walking you through that the problem is that like once they have removed all the documentation so uh, it will be really hard for a beginner so like how he can do that how he can write all the plugins and custom components and all because you don't have an understanding how the grape chairs work internally but I have already done like multiple times about the grape chairs like uh, written the configuration for the grape chairs so I will walk you through with that like how you can write into the current one and then you can use it but still you have to buy the license if you want to run on the production so you cannot bypass that part all the modification we're going to be doing a lot of things into the series with the grip chaser studio and then i'm just also going to be uploading that code on my github channel so you can just clone the code and use it into like as many as video we're going to be covering so that uh, in all the videos update we're going to be putting into the github uh, repository and then you can just clone that repository and use it because earlier i think uh, people had a lot of problem about the github code so now i'm gonna be putting all those things over there so it will be free for you guys so you can use this anytime everything i'm gonna be putting over there so you can write your own code or own understanding on the, on top of it so you can do that by yourself so all those things we're gonna be covering over here and then i'm gonna be walking you through with that and uh, i'm also gonna be showing you how the grape chess license work because the free version is just work on the local and if you deploy on any servers it's only gonna be loading 500 times and after that it's gonna be start crashing so everything is interconnected with the grape.js library so they are loading the library from their server side and once uh, they're gonna check like your application deployed on any kind of production website or sir ip address so they just gonna be start crashing because you have to buy the license if you don't have license so it's gonna be expired so those are the things they have done and they have modified a lot of things they have removed the documentation so it's gonna be really hard for a beginner to do that so that's why just bear with me guys and then i'm gonna walk you through with everything so let's go in the laptop screen and then look at how the new grape chairs works so let's go all right guys so as you can see my screen this is the landing page of grape chairs builder and you can see they have completely changed the landing page and looks much better than earlier one and here you can try the editor if you click on this one so you can try the grape chairs studio editor so this is the customized editor they have built and same kind of feel you're going to be having when you're going to be started configuring the editor on your local host and going to be seeing the same design everything going to be pretty same and uh, just go back over here and go to the doc space so you can sign in as well so if you sign in so you're going to be having like account page where you can apply for the license and you can get the license key and add it into the configuration and otherwise you can just go into the docs and install the grape.js studio and then you start using it so you see the getting started so it gives you some kind of description over here definition and all that the page and you can install it using this one so they have changed the kind of name of it as well for installation so you have to install it like add the grape.js studio sdk and then after installation you can and just uh, add the configuration like this it's the same way but you don't have to apply the selector you don't have to put the selector name over here directly you can just put start configuring like this and then all sorted so the configuration is also changed it's not the same like it was earlier but little bit keywords and all are changed so it's gonna be looking little different but things are same internally but externally on the configuration side it's little different so you can see over here this is the main page when you land it and then you go to the licenses how you can apply for it you come over here after signing so you can just apply for the license you get the license like this and you have to update the domains for what domain you cannot run at the multiple places so what domain you want to apply for so you have to put the domain and then they're gonna verify they're gonna give you the key and that key you have to add into the editor configuration and then it will work for you you go into the editor configurator so there are some configuration options as well so you can directly get the configuration code uh, from the this uh, grape.js editor uh, like sorry the grape.js portal into your account you can just select the things and it will give you add the keys into 
into your configuration and then those configuration you can just copy and paste into the code base and as it is like as it is you can copy and paste and you can use it so you can see over here if i show you so this license key so that's how you have to add the license key under the options okay and this is for react but uh, it would be same for the next js i think and there are other tag as well so you can select the tag and then you can use it okay so this is for the configuration side like uh, now we can go into the web so there are two types of editor one is the web and another is the email so in email you can see there has uh, they have included some kind of mail jet configuration so mail jet is mgml tags over there keep align the content into the email template format okay and the web template is just basic html so you go to the web this is the web and then that's how you can add the pages if you want to add multiple pages this is the new feature over here i'm seeing and that's a good thing like you can have a full website it doesn't matter whatever the pages are there so you can just have the full website over there and then you can just change the pages and edit those and save it at a once and then it's going to be saved as a website so that's a kind of pretty cool feature over here and that we didn't see into the earlier version if we have to do kind of this thing so we can just have it we can create this functionality into the earlier one by ourselves but uh, we didn't have this functionality by default but now this is by default over here you can load multiple pages like this and then you can edit if you want to this is for the email template one if you want to so you see the mgml i was talking about the mgml like the mail jet mailing list so you can have the content into the proper format for the email template so that's how you can use it user so you have to use the tags like mgl mj body something like that so i'm not gonna get into this one you can learn about this one on the internet and this is the configuration overview that's how that's where you're gonna be start writing your code so it has so this is the basic things have been defined over here themes asset which i have already covered into my previous topics and layout global size and all those things are over here so that's how it's just defined so this is the project page where you can see how you're gonna be creating a project and putting all the things together like the configuration and all over here so that's the thing explained over here properly so you can use it and it will help you to configure the project and then you build it and deploy it that comes like the component part inside the component you're gonna get the component manager so how you can add the component and all you're gonna get it over here and this is the way you're gonna be adding the components and if you see over here things are pretty same like the functions and all like editor dot get selected editor dot get main component so they have changed few functions but uh, I saw that like I'm gonna be showing you into the console as well so the functions are pretty same earlier we were using the functions like editor dot get HTML get CSS and all those things so same way we can use it over here as well so it's still the same there's no any change into that so we can go into the grape chase studio and then I'm gonna show you okay over here so this is how you can add the component like this so editor dot on ready something like that everything is happening inside the configuration so you can if you want to write this code outside of the configuration so you can do that too so you have to write the custom plugins and all you have to pass the editor instance into the custom plugin and then you can inject all your components or blocks those things you can add it over there easily okay so but there is no any documentation over here how you can do it separately now everything is included inside the configuration so people cannot get the overview of like how i can separate this code and put it somewhere else and i can load it as a plugin into this one so that's a kind of thing it's little different over here it's gonna be hard for a beginner person like who who is coming as a beginner on the grape js and he's not able to understand like how so they're gonna put all the code in a single file and that's not gonna be looking good so it's gonna be something kind of clutter so the file's gonna be looking messy but earlier we were able to do like uh, separating all the code in different different kind of plugins mini 5gs files so we can just load it from there and we can have a different repo for each and every plugin so that's kind of thing we were able to do earlier now we can also do it but uh, the thing is that the documentation doesn't support us over here so it will be really hard for the beginner person but i'm gonna be walking you through in the continuing the series but uh, now this is what it is okay so this is defines how you can add the component over here so this is the whole documentation for it okay the properties and uh, you can see the properties behavior traits toolbar and all those things are into this it covers how you can add it over here so you can just go through with this page okay we're gonna be covering all these things all this documentation step by step into the upcoming videos i'm gonna be taking each and every topic on one video and then explaining all the things properly like even we have to do the customization or not doesn't matter but we're gonna be doing all so this is the for the pages how you can inject the multiple pages and load it on the editor and then select the pages so it's going to change the content so this is defined over here so this is you can do the dynamically as well like you can just let's suppose someone select the home page you're going to load the home page content about page about page content so you can on click you can just get the details from the api or you just directly put it over here into the html string right so it's already defined over here you can just put the variable over here and the variable will be loading all the content okay asset manager is like your image and all the modal comes into the middle of this uh, uh, 
uh, GapeJS Studio or GapeJS Editor where you can just upload your images and just inject those images into the HTML content. So those kind of things over here going on. Okay, so this is for themes. You can change the themes now, like the dark theme, light theme. So that's what is defined over here. If you want to change some kind of customization, so you can do it like this. And global styles and templates. So these are the other things included into this one. So the template manager, so how you can add multiple templates and the predefined templates going to be loading inside your studio when you click on that. So we were building these kind of like writing it everything from the scratch. Now they have built all the things all together so people doesn't have to write from the scratch. They can just use this documentation configured according to the documentation and then you can get everything solid. So everything is going to be up on the screen and then you can use it. So I have already installed it. Okay. I have already configured the React repo using the white. So React has also did, did some changes. I'm not going to get into this one like how to create the React repo and all but the React has also changed whether using the create react app you can use any kind of framework like the white JS and all and then you can use your new react application I have already done that so if you can see my screen this is this uh, repo is created using the white the basic configuration everything comes as it is I have already installed the grape juice studio into this one and configured it already so I just uh, have to okay it's already running so it's running on the port like by default port on 5173 so I'm just gonna be getting into the browser like this and you see the welcome to react app so the welcome to react app is coming from here so i'm just going to be commenting this part and then using this part okay so i just enabled it and then you see so my button is coming over here and this text and email and these are the things i just pasted <laughs> so that's why this coming and this is the layer manager over here this is your component manager you can just drag and drop the component and it's going to be uh, like coming so let's suppose i drag and drop the image over here but it's not being dragged so i have to drag it inside this one so it's going to be asking you so this is the asset manager where you're going to be uploading your images so you can just upload the image from your uh, like local or you can just add the url of the image and then add it so it's going to be loading the image over here and then you can select it so the image gonna be coming loading over here into this one so even on the image click double click of the image you can load the image as well so that's the thing and all the component these are the blocks like this is coming to this is the block manager part so this is everything is coming as a block so once you drag the block and whatever the content inside of it so that's going to be loaded over here so you have to like there's also a restriction like if you drag and drop any block outside of the content Container, let's suppose I'm dragging outside of the section it's not draggable because there's a restriction so you have to drag it inside the parent element of it so make sure, let's suppose social and if I'm dragging it outside of it it isn't gonna work so you have to drag it inside the container so let's suppose I'm dragging inside the column so it's allowed to drag inside the column only not in the section as well so you see there's no any options coming this kind of configuration we were doing earlier as well like in the component manager you have to assign the parent element in which parent element it's gonna be dragged apart from that other parent elements not gonna be giving any assistant to you like instance so that you can drag it over there okay so there's a kind of child pair relation you can create into the component manager as well okay so these are the share option like you can just put the link over here and the people can click on it and go there otherwise columns these are the kind of grid panels over here you can just select the grid panels and like column row columns you can just put it over here you can just add the content inside of it and then you can use it the styles are over here styles load also according to the selected element whether if it's a column so the column I'm gonna be having only these styles over here border radius border and all those things if you have a section so section gonna be having some other styles because the styles also you can define according to the con like what content you have selected right now so in the component manager you define the styles as well each and every component specifically so that's how it loads over here okay let's suppose you have a button so you're gonna be having some extra styling like the color background color hover and all those things so that's also over here if you want to make it as a link so you can just put the URL over here so it's gonna be coming as a link and all also there is a setting icon so you can just click on this you can just uh, light dark auto that you can do so auto is always going to be dark because my system behavior is dark so that's why anyway guys so this is running on my local host I have just used this part so this part is only written into the code and this is what just copy pasted nothing I have done from my side I just added the width and height of it because without width and height it's going to be disappeared from there because there is no any by default width and height over here so you see everything is blank now and once I name so I just added the width 
width and height and you see how your editor looks so everything you get as it is over here so this is your layer manager which layer which section you want to select so you can get it over here and this like one click of plus you can get the blocks i hope like we can do the changes into this toolbar and everything over here as well so we need to dig into this so we're going to be seeing on the next video how we can add the custom blocks or custom components by using the configuration and i'm going to be telling you some more details about this one how you can get the details so let me show you one thing over here into this one so if we inspect this okay sorry just put the inspect over here if we inspect this in the console so things work as it is okay if i show you the editor instance so it should be there all right it's not over here because i have to put the editor instance from here into the window element that's why it's not here but let me show you in the grape chase studio so once i go and try editor over here and just let me just do inspect okay so over here we can see that so you see editor so it's the same thing we got over here so you see all the functions asset manager assets block manager block and was board manager command components config css each and every function shall same there's no anything like which is change over here everything is same the functions classes everything is same even let me just do one thing okay so editor dot get html i run this function i'm gonna get the whole html of it so whatever the html inside this part i'm getting over here okay let me do one thing editor dot get css editor dot get css okay you see i'm getting all the css which is applied on this one okay whether it's a basis of id or whether it's a basis of your class names does matter all the css i'm getting over here okay let me do some more commands editor dot commands okay so you're gonna get all the commands over here so these are the editor command and you can add the command too like this so we already uh, like le learn all the things in the previous video so if you go back if you apply those same tactics over here so it's gonna work so you can apply you can add the tools you can add the uh, widgets everything you can add it and you can customize the thing if you want to all the things gonna work okay so i hope this is getting longer this is just an introductory video. There's no anything we're gonna be doing right now. I just wanted to make an awareness video on that so the people will be aware what things going on. Otherwise, like we're gonna be continuing the series, we're gonna be digging into that, we're gonna be learning new things into this studio because it's very interesting into the grape chairs and it's kind of looked like a little bit some other editors which are the professional editors in the market. So kind of this good. Okay, so all right, guys, that's it from this video. I'm gonna be seeing you in the next video with new topic on the grape chairs studio that's it and i'm gonna be also pushing this code so it will, this code will be free to use like on the github so anyone can clone it and keep updating your code and then whatever i'm gonna be pushing inside this so you can use it okay thank you so much guys thank you for watching uh,